Hello everyone, All About Africa here, and in this video I am going to tell you of the eight main regions in Africa that the African slaves were taken from during the transatlantic slave trade and the regions in the Americas that the slaves were brought and sold to. Stay tuned. Coming in at number eight is Southeast Africa, or modern day Madagascar and Mozambique. Although the lowest amount of African slaves were taken to the Americas from this region at around 2%, or almost 427,000 people, this area of Southeast Africa was considered a very active region during the transatlantic slave trade. Brazil received the most amount of slaves from modern-day Madagascar and Mozambique at approximately 279,232 people while mainland North America received the least amount at around 7,591 people. The biggest ethnic group taken from this area are the Makua people, which number about 3.9 million people in Africa today. Coming in at number 7 is the Baida Benin, which is modern day Togo, Benin, and southwest Nigeria. The amount of African slaves taken to the Americas from the Bight of Benin is about 1.7 million people. Again, Brazil received the highest amount of African slaves from this region with approximately 877,034 people, while mainland North America received the lowest amount as well at approximately 9,231 people. The biggest ethnic groups taken from this area include the Yoruba, Fan, Ewe, and Aja peoples, with Yorubas being the greatest amount taken, who are found predominantly in southwest Nigeria and eastern Benin. Coming in at number six is the Windward Coast, or modern day Liberia, and Cote d'Ivoire, also known as the Ivory Coast. The Windward Coast region of Africa had approximately 284,217 people taken to the Americas. The area that received the most amount of African slaves to the Americas from the Windward Coast was the British Caribbean Islands at approximately 146,684 people. While the region in the Americas with the least amount of recipients of African slaves from the Windward Coast is the Danish West Indies, which received approximately 1,465 people. The ethnic groups taken from this area include the Capelli and Kru ethnic groups, which are mostly found in Liberia and a smaller amount in Ivory Coast. Coming in at number 5 is Sierra Leone, or the modern day countries of Sierra Leone and Guinea. This region of Africa had approximately 322,612 people taken to the Americas during the transatlantic slave trade. The region in the Americas that received the most amount of slaves from the Sierra Leone region was the British Caribbean, which received approximately 115,169 people. While the region in the Americas which received the least amount of people from Sierra Leone and Guinea was the Danish West Indies at approximately 3,707 people. The ethnic groups taken from this area include the Temeni, Mende, Limba, and Susu peoples. Coming in at number 4 is the Gold Coast or modern day Ghana. The Gold Coast of Africa had a significant amount of Africans taken to the Americas during the transatlantic slave trade with the amount of slaves being taken around 1.2 million people. The region in the Americas that received the most amount of slaves from the Gold Coast is the British Caribbean at approximately 601,243 people. The area that received the least amount of slaves from the Gold Coast in the Americas is the Danish West Indies, receiving approximately 48,016 people. The largest ethnic groups enslaved from the Gold Coast include the Akan and Ashanti people groups. Coming in at number 3 is the Bight of Biafra, which is modern day Southeast Nigeria, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Equatorial Guinea, and Gabon. The Bight of Biafra also had a significant role in the transatlantic slave trade to the Americas with approximately 1,276,856 people taken to the New World. 
the region in the Americas who received the most amount of slaves from the Bight of Biafra is the British Caribbean at 712,623 people. And the area that received the least amount of slaves from the Bight of Biafra is the Danish West Indies at approximately 16,641 people. The various ethnic groups enslaved from this region are the Igbo, Awando, Bamaliki, Tikar, Fang, Biaka, Bubi, and Akele people groups. Coming in at number two is Senegambia, or modern day Senegal, the Gambia, and Guinea Bissau. The Senegambia region of Africa had approximately 604,423 slaves brought over to the New World in the Americas. Although most areas of the Americas received an equal amount of African slaves from Senegambia to their regions in the New World, the region in the Americas which received the most amount of African slaves from Senegambia is the Spanish Americas at approximately 170,179 people. While the area in the Americas who received the least amount of slaves from Senegambia is the Dutch Americas at approximately 5,000 495 people. The ethnic groups taken from Senegambia include the Mandinka, Wolof, Balanta, Fula or the Fulani people, and the Jola peoples. And coming in at number one is West Central Africa or modern day Democratic Republic of Congo, Republic of Congo, and Angola. Now, this region of Central Africa has by far contributed the most to the transatlantic slave trade to the Americas more than any other region on the African continent at approximately 4,917,434 people, or 27% of the total amount of enslaved Africans brought to the New World to the Americas. Brazil received the highest amount of slaves in general to the Americas, and the majority came from this region in Africa at approximately 3,396,909 people. While the Danish West Indies received the lowest amount of slaves from West Central Africa at approximately 16,208 people. The largest ethnic groups taken from West Central Africa to the New World include the Mbundu and the Mbunti ethnic groups. Although there was a total of 12 to 12 and a half million African slaves captured during the transatlantic slave trade, not all of them survived the brutal trip across the Atlantic Ocean. Some 2 million African slaves perished and that left the amount that survived to be approximately 10,538,225 people. Although a horrific experience, many African slaves endured the struggle and persevered, and the descendants, such as myself, are a product of the slave trade, and myself and many others are grateful for their survival and doing our best to honor our ancestors and reconnect with our African roots through DNA testing that were once lost due to the transatlantic slave trade. It is my mission to carry on tradition and relearn my lost culture and inspire others to do the same. This is all about Africa, and thanks for watching, and remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Peace and blessings to all.